Hi there! Welcome back to Crafty Nanny, original stories with simple crafts designed to engage you and your little one. Go on a journey with new friends and bring home souvenirs by completing the crafts when the story ends. There's a new story each week, so if you haven't subscribed yet, remember to click that button below. Now, let's take a look at today's adventure. Today's story is The Adventures of Patch, Hedgy, and Scoot Indoor Field Games by Anushka R. Merrill Creatures everywhere! Start your engines! yelled Scoot as he walked into Patch's room with a megaphone. Go away, said Patch, putting a pillow over his head. What's the hurry? There's no school today. Let's get to it, Patch. Rise and shine. Today is our first annual indoor athletics day, said Hedgy, as she waved some pom-poms. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to W-I-N. Huh. <sighs> well, looks like I'm awake now, said Patch, rubbing his eyes. Patch, Hedgy, Scoot, your breakfast is ready, called their mom from the kitchen. I made eggs, waffles, and strawberries, fuel for my little athletes. Coming, mom, they said, making their way downstairs. This looks delicious, said Scoot. Thank you, said Patch. Do we have any ant butter? asked Hedgy. Sorry, we're all out of ant butter. I just put the bottle in the recycling, said Mom. When you're done, please come into the living room to help me make our equipment for the field games. In the living room, Mom had a box full of empty containers. Is it time to take out the recycling? asked Patch. I thought we were going to make stuff for the field day, said Scoot, scratching his head. These are our supplies for the field day. We have three events in today's games. Frog Toss, Tin Wheel Derby, and... What about the obstacle course? asked Hedgy. Yes, said Mom. We will also have the obstacle course, but we can use items from around the house for that. Patch, I'll need you to make the lily pad buckets for the Frog Toss. Aye, aye, Captain, said Patch. He got canisters of varying heights and made cardboard lily pads to go around the openings of them. He then painted the lily pads and the canisters green. When he was done, he went to join Hedgy and Scoot in designing his wheel for the tin wheel toss. Patch, Hedgy and Scoot each got an empty tin can and glued a circle of cardboard to either end. They also cut and glued a strip of cardboard around the circles to make the tires for their tin wheels. They then drew designs on the tires so they would know which wheel was theirs. Mom was busy making the frogs for the frog toss. She wanted to make five frogs, so she cut ten circles of fabric from an old t-shirt, placed two together and sewed around most of the circle leaving a small opening to add some beans. After adding the beans, she stitched up the opening. Patch, Hedgy, and Scoot were excited to get started, so she made two frogs using a no-sew method of putting some beans inside a circle of fabric and securing it with a rubber band. With the items complete, Mom got them lined up for the games. First up was the obstacle course. They were to climb over pillows, crawl through a play tunnel, go over two small benches, and hop to the finish line. They went through the course one at a time while Mom kept time on her stopwatch. Patch was as quick as a fox, but Hedgy won by a hedgehog's quill. Scoot really tried his best, but he came in third place. Next up was the frog toss. They stood at a line and had five attempts to get at least one frog in each can. Hedgy's frogs landed on the lily pads, tipping the cans over, but Patch was the winner of this round and got the most frogs into the canisters. 
For the Tin Wheel Derby, they lined up in the long hallway and waited for Mom to give the signal. On your mark, get set, go! They rolled the wheels down the hall, waiting to see whose would go furthest. Patch's wheel shot down the hallway and suddenly fell flat. Hedgie's wheel was the fastest, but bumped into a wall. Scoot's wheel, however, slowly went down the hall and into another room. He was finally a winner. Do it again! I wasn't ready! Do it again! they cried. Mom agreed, and they went through all the games again and again until they were exhausted and needed a nap. After a quick lunch, they went up to Patch's room to rest. Whew. I'm wiped out, said Hedgie, drifting off to sleep in a sleeping bag on the floor. I think I'll sleep until next field day, yawned Patch from the bottom bunk. Yeah... Me too, said Scoot, and this time you'll have to wake me up. The house was very quiet as the three athletes slept that afternoon. The end. Now it's your turn to create. Set up an obstacle course at home and make a few items for your very own field day. Be sure to post your creations to Instagram and tag us at IG Crafty Nanny. A special thanks to graphic designer Evan Santiago for creating the new Crafty Nanny logo. Keep crafting, and we'll see you next time.